What is up Beach Bumps? Welcome back to the channel. Today is day one of relief efforts. Storm has finally passed. I'm leaving my hometown. I'm leaving Annalise and Courtney here with her parents. I'm at the great establishment of Walmart. I'm gonna be picking up supplies and headed down south to try to go ahead and start taking some things to some friends, taking water, generators, batteries, flashlights. Nobody has power. A lot of people don't have water. Could be weeks. Got a couple of cases of gallon waters. Got a bunch of bottle waters, couple of gas cans. I think I'm gonna have to shoot across the street. There's a Lowe's over there. Gonna have to go over there to find, uh, find a generator. Walmart, not so much. Ugh. Stacked and ready. <laughs> got, this is my cooler for drinks and lunch. Ice chest, I got five bags of 10 pound bags of ice. I got, got our water, got it just shoved everywhere. Got a big old generator for a buddy. He asked for a generator. We're ready to go there. And then my dad, he had picked up a generator from somebody locally. So we got a generator, a couple more waters. We're stacked. <laughs> Headed south, man. Go with, go with as much as I can. Grab and go, you know. Just, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be getting into. I'm just going to try to help and take what I can. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm a little nervous about going down there. What I'm hearing from people down there that are still there, it's just not good. This is not a good situation. I mean, it is literally a natural disaster area. It's just a mess, you know. And, I, you know, I'm going down there. I haven't seen my house yet. So we're gonna check it out. I'll show you guys, you know, whatever it looks like. And just getting down there and like not having power, not having water, not being able to get fuel, like the things that you just take for granted that are like easy, it's all gone, you know? And um, so I'm a little nervous about getting down there, just uh, what I'm gonna run into for the next few days. My plan is to get down there, help with who I can, where I can for the next, you know, two, three days, and then come back up here kind of recharge the batteries. It's not a good situation, but I'm, I'm, I am a little nervous about it, but uh, it'll be good to see some friends and hopefully be able to help a little bit. I'm an hour north of Gulf Shores, trying to get gas one more time, and there's lines at every pump. That that pump right there is not working, so there's no line there, but <laughs> every pump that's that's working, it's got a line. Really not that bad right here. I mean, this is not, not too many people. I'm sure it's a lot easier to get gas here than it is any further south of here. And I, honestly, I don't even know what gas stations have power or if they have to run generators or how they can even keep, you know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this stuff works. Here's the gas station at I-10 coming down. And you can see that the line to get gas is backed up out of the gas station and probably as far back as you can see on the road. So my gas stop about an hour north of Gulf Shores with like two or three cars deep, nothing. <laughs> That's like a hundred cars deep worth of waiting in line for fuel. So I've made it home. This is what, uh, what everything looks like here. This is our, our first little casualty. We lost some shutters. No big deal. Window, still in good shape. More importantly, the fishing stuff, it all made it. Yes. This is a, a mess. I know, this is my catch-all. It's a lot. So fortunately, still got the fishing stuff. Let's check out the back. Here's our gate for our fence. Oh, can't even move that. House looks okay on this side. We still got a fence on this side. Got a little bit missing right here. Got that section knocked off. Watch for snakes, they're probably hanging around here. Even when it is a heavy rain, we get a lot of water right in here. So it probably came up pretty high. Fence got knocked over. That's no big deal. That's not a big deal. Back of the house, we're looking pretty good. Good shape, windows, windows are all intact from what I can tell. Got some shingles. That may be for somebody else. I don't even know if that's ours. We we fared extremely well for this swarm. Like, it's not bad at all. And all the trees that you see, 
knocked down over here laying down like those were actually cleared out uh, like a month ago like they came through and all the trees that were close to the fence back here for our whole neighborhood they cleared all that out like 15 20 feet from the fence so that's not from the storm which probably really helped because there were like a ton of trees that were hanging out pretty close and could have fallen on the house or been a lot worse so probably a good thing they did that when they did tomorrow my plan i've got a friend their family uh, him and his wife and their little girl their house legit flooded like they got water all in their house it's a disaster in there i mean they're having to really do a lot of work tonight after checking the house i'm headed to a buddy's house uh, we're gonna get this try to get this generator hooked up for him it's uh man it's just it, it's overwhelming driving through here and just seeing i mean I don't know if you can see in the GoPro, but I mean, there's tree uh, everywhere you look. You turn around every minute. There, there were, there were trees laid over on that apartment complex. Damage everywhere. This morning, I'm at a friend's house. I'm going to show you around a little bit. This is a friend of mine that took a heavy hit here. They've actually cleaned up a lot out here, but there were a lot of shingles. But I'm going to show you something in the back, and then we're going to get on the inside here. We're in the process of basically ripping this house apart right now. But uh, let me just show you. So here's their fence, which, you know, everybody lost a fence. That, that's pretty common stuff here. Now this is important back here. I just want to show you something. So this is a drainage ditch here. This was a river. There's like a little bridge walkway over there. Uh, I'm using the GoPro, I don't know how well you can see, but you can see some like drainage pipes over there underneath the little bridge. That water was <laughs> all the way and eight inches into their house you can see the roof they're getting it patched up right now they they took a heavy hit here of course the house is still intact which is which is good they're all okay but they were in this house when it started to flood i'm going to show you the line of where the water came up to but we're in the process of ripping up floors we just finished one of the rooms and that's why i'm all hot and sweaty So here's the lawn. You can see right here perfectly where the water was in their entire house. Pretty scary stuff. They were here when it happened. But in the process, they're, uh, they're getting everything cleaned up out of here, moved out, salvaging what they can, tossing what they can't. Here's a couple of bedrooms. This, uh, this, we just got finished ripping the carpet out of here. We'll be doing that in a couple more rooms. They got a little girl. This was, this was her nursery ripped up all the carpet out of here it's tough times this is this is a lot of folks right now a lot of folks are in bad shape a lot of folks are um, in the process of rearranging their entire life it's uh it's, it's, it's still weird you know we still don't have power we still don't have water in most places at my house we we've got water but we can't actually really use it because we have a grinder pump and with the grinder pump not working it can't the water won't go down so you can't really use it but we do have water no power still and today is storm came through tuesday night and it's friday now so kind of a mess let me show you a little bit of the neighborhood it's their roof patched up you see some trees over here they're all laid down in this yard uh debris junk piles starting to stack up over here of course you know some fencing down i mean but it's there's so much like there's just so it, there's so much everywhere even if it's little stuff like a fence down or a roof or you know just it's just everywhere all the way from gulf shores to pensacola foley even further north it's just so much it's overwhelming but just jump in where you can is kind of what my philosophy is help your friends help your family it's um kind of wild down here it's definitely not normal and uh it's weird it's just weird <laughs> just call me chip Gaines. feel like fixer upper i know i can't get the piece I brought bread, I got ham and cheese, got a bag of bugles, some Coke. These little Ozark Trail knockoff Yeti coolers, lifesaver in natural disaster 
cleanup efforts. Very helpful. And uh, got a nice view of a tree that's laid over on a house. Right here while I'm eating lunch, man. But uh, this is this is a luxury right here right now. I'm good. I'm at another friend's house who flooded. These friends actually, they had to be rescued in the middle of the night during the hurricane. The, the story of them getting out of the house is quite terrifying actually. But once the storm surge came in, just rushed with water. This is all the stuff they're cleaning out and that's the same story across this whole neighborhood. This whole neighborhood was basically underwater. The intercoastal is that direction and the houses on that end were under eight to 10 feet of water. There were people in those houses and what they had to do to get away as they were just swimming from house to house to try to get higher ground. They had like a SWAT team truck, like an armored truck in here, pulling people out of houses, my friends included. I mean, there's just stuff stacked up all along the streets from people pulling stuff out of their houses because everything's toast. Everything was underwater. Gary's situation, this, is a, this was a, one of the many stories of this storm where water was an issue. Storm surge, the amount of rain, uh, just a tough situation for a lot of folks. You don't think about this. It's hard to really wrap your head around these kind of things until, until you're in it. You know, you see it on TV, you see it on the news, but like when it happens to your friends, when it happens to your family, and then you're in it, it's a different story. Okay, I'm back home with no electricity and we're gonna cook up deer backstrap. I'm not running a generator. We're not, I'm not planning on staying here. I'm running back and forth. So we are going to lose our freezer meat. There's not a ton left. I really hate it, but the hassle of trying to keep up with the fuel, keep up with the generator, going back and forth, not really staying here because uh, I'm gonna be going back and forth getting supplies and coming back down. Just figured we'd count it as loss. I know that stinks. I hate wasting stuff. But <laughs> the amount of trouble that we're going to go through to try to save the meat, it just, uh, it sounded like it wasn't worth it. So anyway, I'm going to cook what I can while I'm here. And uh, that, that's what we're going to cook up. I'm going to marinate it in some Italian dressing and then throw some Everglades on it. Should be pretty delicious. We got our meat seasoned up. Ready to go. I'm so excited. And yes, Whoa. There's a generator running. Sorry about the noise. That's not ours. That's our neighbors going. Hurricane, no electricity, catch and cook, salvage what meat you can. We're just making do around here, man. Sun is going down and going short. We got just a few minutes left of daylight. I just took the meat off the grill. About to take a bite of it. But it's it's been a good first run. I've been here for a couple of days. Handed out a couple of generators. Handed out what waters I had. The ice that I was able to bring down. Helped my friends that got flooded. Um, I ate dinner at, with some strangers. A friend of mine's friend's house. They, they grilled up some steaks that were going to go bad. Out of their freezer. And they were delicious. Thank you. Some ribeyes. We don't have a lot right now. We don't have electricity. We Some people have running water, some don't. But we do have community, we have each other, and that's the cool thing to see in these situations. So it's a little overwhelming because I have so many friends and I know so many people that need help and I wanna help as many as I can, of course, but you don't feel like you're doing a whole lot, but I guess just stepping in where you can is, is all you really can do. Really weird. I don't know when I'll be fishing again. Again, I've got a couple of fishing videos that I haven't posted yet. I'll post them soon, but uh, let's take a bite of some tenderloin. Okay, for me, that's perfect. Some of you probably want it a little bloodier, but that's a good piece of meat for me. Mm. That's awesome. Eating like kings tonight. So good. 
I'm gonna eat as much of that as I can. I'm gonna save it, what I can't eat, and eat it the next couple of days. But man, that is, uh, that turned out delicious. Just Italian dressing, marinated it, threw on some uh, Everglades seasoning. It was good. Well, let me know, subscribers, if you're still here with me, uh, more power to you. You are a true follower. Uh, there was no fishing, only me vlogging this experience. There will probably be more of this if you want to see more of this process and what life's like for me right now <laughs> as we uh, regroup and uh, figure out what the heck to do. Let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. Guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, you stay.